I'm Larry Bach, and I am the rabbi at Judea Reform Congregation in Durham. And I'm going to be speaking to you about Shabbat. Shabbat, or Sabbath, is the seventh day of the week, as we count it in Judaism, and it's the day of rest. One of the key ways that we celebrate Shabbat is through the food that we eat and the people that we gather together with. It's a we also celebrate it. It's the day that many Jews uh, make a point of attending synagogue. And for some Jews, not all, but some, Sabbath is observed by refraining from certain activities, such as driving, working, using money, um, using technology. One of the traditions on Shabbat that's particularly important to many people is the Friday night meal, and especially the blessings that we say before that meal. We have a special loaf of bread called challah, which is put on a special plate and covered with uh, usually a fabric cover. And we have candlesticks with candles in them, and a blessing is said over the lighting of the candles as well. Why two? Because there are two instances in the Torah where it talks about the Sabbath, two versions of the Ten Commandments. In one place it says, shamor, keep the Sabbath, or observe the Sabbath. In another place it says, zachor, remember the Sabbath. So one explanation, there are many explanations, but one is two candles for those two utterances to keep and remember. So Shabbat begins as the sun is setting on Friday evening. On Saturday evening, the sun goes down, and then we wait a few more minutes. We wait traditionally until the sky grows dark and there are three stars visible, and then we consider Shabbat over. Havdalah is the ceremony that brings Shabbat to a close. So there are three objects that are used to celebrate Havdalah. The first blessing is said over a cup of wine, and we use a special cup, a kiddush cup, for that, and wine is a symbol of joy and of holiness. We then move to the spice box, and these beautiful spice boxes are held up to the face and smelled, and they have sweet spices in them, often cinnamon or cloves, and that's meant to bring a little bit of sweetness and beauty to the end of that day. And then finally, we hold up a braided candle, and that braided candle symbolizes the way over Shabbat we've come together as a community. We began with two candlesticks separately, and as Saturday evening comes to a close, we have one candle all braided together.